Welcome to Steadfast Hope, the teaching ministry of Pastor Trevon and Elder Quinn Gross. This broadcast is designed to help you remain rooted and grounded in the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now, here's today's message. I'm not asking you to be a zombie where you come and just hear what I say and say, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. No, take this word, get your own Bible, sit down in your own house, start studying on your own and see if what I said is what the word of God says. And in that process, you are conditioning your mind to believe what God promised. So I'm a seed server. I just give you seed so that when you leave, you have something that will change your life. You are supposed to be a seed sower. You take the word, the seed that has been supplied, and you sow it into your heart through confession. As you confess the word, you condition your own heart to believe what God has said. I can't do it for you. Your heart is your own field. The only one that controls the gateway to your heart is you. And you sow stuff in your heart by what you say, And if you continue to say stuff that is against what the word says, you are filling your heart full of foolishness that will produce a harvest. Whatever hits the soil of our heart will produce. If you put garbage in your heart, you will have garbage all around your life. If you fill your heart with the word of God, you will see word of God results all around you. And for some of us, we have word of God results in certain areas of our lives, but then in other areas we don't, and we wonder what's going on. What's going on is you've got to sow the word of God for those areas in your heart and once you get to the critical capacity where your heart is now ready to reproduce it it'll change those other areas are you all hearing me and so psalm 37 31 come on quickly 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 y'all got to give me five minutes because i had to go to john chapter 20 to to help y'all out so i need y'all to Come on, John, you ready you there? Psalm 37, 1. Psalm 37, 31, I'm sorry. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. So as long as your heart is saturated with the word of God, you'll never slide. Amen. That's how you don't have to be afraid of whether or not you're going to fall. You don't have to fall if the word is in your heart. Amen. Come on, Psalm 40, verse 8. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. If we can get his word in our hearts, it'll root us and anchor us. Go to Psalm 112. I I just want you to see this. the, the, The witness of scripture is consistent. Psalm 112, verse 7. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He will not be afraid. You want to make sure you're not overwhelmed when you keep hearing all the bad news? You want to make sure you're not overwhelmed when you hear about riots in Egypt and and, and riots in Greece and and, and riots in the streets of of France and riots in, in England and what's going to happen here in the United States? When your heart is established and fixed on the things of God, it does not matter what happens around you because you have a full understanding is that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It doesn't matter what happens 
happens out there. It matters what happens in here. Your heart must be established in this thing. Heart must be established. Y'all, because when your heart is established, you can start saying some stuff. And things will change. When your heart is established, when you speak things, things will change. And here's the spiritual paradox. I say it out of my mouth. It goes in my heart. It goes in my heart. It comes out of my mouth. So, Pastor, how do you know the difference? Here's how. When your heart has something in abundance, it will always come out of your mouth. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You can tell what's in the abundance in somebody's heart when their back is up against the wall. When you're working around your house and you stub your toe and you, and you start cussing, that's really what's in the abundance of your heart. And I'm not judging you. What I'm saying is you got to root that stuff out. And you root it out by planting something else in there. You all hearing me? See, when, when, you, when you get the, you just waiting for that next bad phone call to come. And you pick up the phone. And it's a bill collected that you didn't even know you owed. And you slam down the phone. You say, I'm sick and tired of this. You've just spoken what's in your heart. And so the only way you change what's in your heart is you change what comes out of your mouth. And what comes out of your mouth is sown into your heart. Now, I can't do it today, but in one of my other series, I'm going to show you how we have two ears, an inner ear and an outer ear. If you've ever heard your voice recorded and you've heard it played back to you, it never sounds like you sound to you. That's because God designed us to hear ourselves through our inner ear. And that inner ear is channeled right into our heart, which is our spirit. So when we start speaking the word of God out of our mouths, our heart is hearing it with a direct channel. And as we say it and say it and say it, our heart starts receiving it and receiving it and receiving it. And in the process of receiving, The devil's going to throw stuff in there to try to get you to stop. Thorns, cares of this life, contradictions, all of those types of things. And those things are thrown in to get us to stop saying it. So you're confessing, I'm healed. By the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. You go back to the doctor and they show a little progress. Welcome to Steadfast Hope the teaching ministry of Pastor Trevon and Elder Quinn Gross. This broadcast is designed to help you remain rooted and grounded in the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now, here's today's message. 